Hello, I'm Patty Simpson with Simpson Math. In statistics, there are various ways to do different studies. Let's look at a couple of different types of studies, the meta-analysis and the case study. A meta-analysis is just a study of studies. So I have several different researchers that have collected data on some topic, and I come along and I use the data from all of those different studies, I am now con conducting a meta-analysis. So meta-analysis is just that. It's a statistical analysis that combines the results of multiple scientific studies. A meta-analysis can help identify patterns again, uh, across many studies on the same topic. So um, here's a couple of examples. Oceanographers study research on the effects of tsunamis in several locations on, in the world. So, you know, this, this researcher is looking at tsunamis in Japan, and this one's looking at um, tsunamis in another location, and this one's looking at tsunamis in another location. And I come along and I look at all of their data to try to find some patterns um, amongst all of those tsunamis. I'm now doing a meta-analysis because I'm doing research based on the research of others, of multiple studies. Here's another example. Researchers look at research from various studies on glaciers around the world to determine the change in glacier size. So again, they're looking at their research from other studies to help them determine those changes and see patterns on glaciers. Right now, we're having the coronavirus um, research that's occurring all over the world. So there are all kinds of different studies going on on what kinds of medication maybe would help the patients. And there are people that look at all those different studies to help them see patterns. And when they're looking at lots of different studies, they're doing a meta-analysis. A case study, however, is a study about a single person, group, or a situation where we look at multiple variables in that one case. So for instance, researchers might study the shooter from the Pulse nightclub shooting to determine what led to the shooting. So we're gonna look at that shooter and we're gonna look at everything in their life, their education level, um, what was their home life like, um, when did they, you know, what were their interests? Um, how did they spend their free time? What kind of job did they do? We're gonna look at all of the variables to see what we can determine um, about that uh, particular person. That, that's a case study where I'm studying that one person. Here's another example. Researchers study a specific pack of timber wolves to determine changes in behavior, environment, and breeding habits. So they look at the timber wolves and they look to see in all the different things involved. What are they eating? Um, where do they migrate to? Um, how many pups are they having? They look at all the different uh, variables that they're involved to help them learn more about that specific uh, pack. And that's a case study. So a meta-analysis is just a study of studies, whereas a case study studies one specific thing and looks at lots of different variables. Math made simple at Simpson Math. Thanks for watching.